Okay, so one way to set out questions like this is to write down what we know about each case. So for the second harmonic, we know that the tension is equal to mg. And for the fifth harmonic, we know that the tension is equal to the mg. And then we have to subtract off the buoyancy force, which is given by the density of the water times the volume of the sphere times g. So this is the weight of water which is displaced, which is decreasing the weight of that sphere. Okay, now we know that the velocity is equal to the square root of t over mu, and that this is also equal to f lambda. And for the second harmonic, let's let string have length l. Lambda is equal to l, because there was two loops, and each loop is half a wavelength. In this case, we have lambda is equal to two-fifths L because each of those loops was one-fifth of L and two of them are needed to make up our wavelength. Okay, now for each of our cases, we can substitute into this equation here. So tension, we've got mg over mu is equal to FL. And in this case, our tension is mg minus rho vg over mu. This is a mu. And this, in this case, is equal to f lambda, where lambda is this. So 2 fifths L times f. Now let's gather onto one side of this equation the things which are constant between the two cases. So the frequency is not changing. We've got the same generator, and so it's sending out signals with the same frequency. The length of the string is not changing, and also the string isn't, itself isn't changing, so the mass per unit length isn't changing. Okay, so for this case, we have mg is equal to fl mu. So let's get fl mu here, root mu, sorry, root mu. Let's get f L root mu for this side as well. This is equal to 5 over 2 times the square root of mg minus rho vg. Okay, so this is equal to this because they're both equal to fl root mu, which aren't changing. Okay, so let's call that 1, let's call that 2. We say 1 is equal to 2. So the square root of mg is equal to 5 over 2 root mg minus rho vg. So we can cancel out our g's. Now let's square everything to get rid of these square roots. We've got m is equal to 25 on 4 m minus rho v. Okay, we're trying to find the volume. We know everything else. So let's rearrange this. This is 4 over 25 m minus m is equal to minus rho v and so the volume is equal to 4 over 25 m minus m over minus rho so substituting in 4 over 25 m was 2 the density of water there's one kilogram per liter the density in SI units is kilograms per meter cubed, so this is minus 1,000. We get 1.68 times 10 to the minus 3 as the volume. Now let's just find a little bit of spare space here. Sorry about the bit of a mess. So the volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So r cubed is equal to 3 over 4 pi times 1.68 times 10 to the minus 3 which is equal to 4.01 times 10 to the minus 4. Taking the cubed root, we end up with the radius is equal to 0 0.0737 metres, which is equal to 7.37 centimetres. And that's the answer to that one.